Y'all, this carrot cake recipe has been passed down from three generations in my family. It is the best carrot cake I have ever tried. I'm about to show you how to make it. I've got half of it garnished with nuts, the other half without because I've got some picky eaters in my family. Let me show you how easy this is to throw together. Now in my mixer here, I'm gonna add four eggs, one and a quarter cups of vegetable oil, two cups of white sugar, and two tablespoons of vanilla extract. And I beat this and combine it. I love these old fashioned mixers. Now I'm gonna mix in two cups of self-rising flour. And two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Now I'm gonna stir in three cups of grated carrot, which is about five carrots. I grated this by hand. You can also use a food processor. You can also buy the shredded carrots in the grocery store, but a word of caution, I don't like the pre-shredded carrots and carrot cake. When you do it by hand with a food processor, you get these thin, delicate pieces of carrots. When you buy the pre-shredded carrots in the grocery store, they're a lot thicker and they just don't melt into the cake. So you have big hunks of carrot in your carrot cake. But some people like, I don't. I like my carrots to kind of melt into the cake and you can hide it from kids that way too. <laughs> so three cups of grated carrots. And I'm just gonna fold this into my cake batter. I also think that the pre-shredded carrots are dry while when you grate it fresh, it's not. Makes for a better carrot cake if you ask me. Now I'm gonna add in one cup of chopped pecans. If you don't like nuts, then you don't have to add them. Some folks like pineapple in their carrot cake, so you can also add a can of crushed pineapple too if you like to. I'm not really a pineapple and carrot cake kind of girl, so, so I'm gonna fold this in. And this is what my batter is looking like. Now I'm gonna take my rectangle cake pan and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of baking nonstick cooking spray. And now I'm going to pour my cake batter inside. So I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. I'm going to bake this for about 45 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. So my cake is out of the oven and it has cooled. That's why I'm able to handle it. And I'm going to set it aside while I make my frosting. So for my frosting, I'm going to add eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese to my bowl, along with one stick of butter that is also at room temperature. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to cream this together before adding my powdered sugar. That will make it all kind of come together a little bit better. A little bit easier. Now to this, I'm gonna add four cups of confectioner sugar. I'm gonna mix this up to combine it. Now, if you're somebody who likes a lot of frosting on their cake, you can always double this recipe. A snack. So here is my frosting. Now I'm gonna frost this cake. You'll want your cake to be completely cool before you frost it, otherwise your frosting will melt. So I'm just gonna put this frosting on the cake, just kind of dollop it on down the center, and then I'll spread it evenly around. Now the final step is to garnish it with chopped pecans. If you don't like nuts, and you can skip this step. I'm actually going to garnish just half of the cake because my son is not big on uh, on pecans. So I'm going to just do half. And there we have it. My homemade carrot cake passed down from three generations in my family. It is my favorite, favorite carrot cake. And I hope that y'all like it too. Look at that, you guys. Yes. 
me a big old piece <laughs> or a big old bite. Mm -hmm. mm. I love a good carrot cake and this one's my favorite. If you enjoyed this recipe, then check out my website, MrsHappyHomemaker.com. You can also find me across all the social media lands underneath Mrs. Happy Homemaker. Till next time, bye y'all.